What's up my crazy subscriber, this is Joking John C4 and today I'll be talking about Battlefield 1. And yes I know guys, yes I know, it's been like a very long time since I last uploaded a commentary video over a gameplay and uh, I'm trying to bring it back guys, I'm gonna try to bring back more topics and more talk about you know random ass stuff here on YouTube so uh, prepare for the next few days guys, it's gonna be a big change coming up. So anyways, moving on to the main topic of today, which is about Battlefield 1. Is it boring? And I know I'm gonna piss off a few people out here in this channel because, you know, I usually get that. You know, people think like, oh, it's gonna talk about how bad Battlefield 1 like is. Like, I'm not really gonna talk about that, people. So calm your tits. So, um, a lot of people on the internet, I've been reading through like, you know, YouTube videos about Battlefield 1 trailers and Facebook pages. You know, I've been reading a lot of comment sections and I'm telling you, a lot of people are saying that Battlefield 1 is boring already. Kind of crazy. Yes, I know. A lot of people praise this game as the best FPS game of the year. And uh, what can I say about this? You know, as a guy who has been playing since the day of release and every single day, you know, I've been, I give it like an hour or two in the game and I'm already like level 40 something. I think I'm on level like 40, level 47 right now. And I have had a lot of good gameplays. And what can I say about this whole situation? Is Battlefield 1 actually boring? Well, my answer is depends on who you are to be honest like there are three types of gamer there's the casual there's the competitive and there's the ignorant now the competitive one these kinds of gamers are the ones that really care about winning they care about the weapons they care about map spots they care about the maps they care you know about strategy and tactics you know these are the ones that are really want to be winners and these are the ones that expect everything to be perfect and i kind of fall into that category you know i want every single win that I play in in Battlefield 1. And if I don't get a win, I'll be mad, but I still enjoy the shit out of the game. So um, these kinds of gamers are the most likely to ones to get bored first. And I kind of want to admit that the Battlefield 1 right now is getting a little bit stale because of the weapon customization. It's kind of worse compared to like uh, Battlefield 4. Battlefield 4, every single gun had like a lot of attachments, had a lot of sights, like each gun had like around uh, a combination of uh, like around six or more sights per weapon. The hollow side, the ACOG, uh, regular red dot side, and you know there was different kind of sites. And then you go to Battlefield One, they don't even have attachment options or the side options. Like, how do you want me to customize the weapon? Like that's one thing that's kind of affecting me right now, and it's kind of getting a little bit boring using every single weapon because I already know the best weapons to use on every single map, and that's how I'm getting bored a little bit. So. The competitive gamers are most likely to get bored first and then move on to another game or they just depend on DLC, which is kind of, I'm falling into that. Like, I just want to think like, oh, hopefully the DLC will bring us more weapons and more attachments so we can use them on the battlefield and then, you know, take advantage of them. And uh, that's kind of what we depend on, you know, the competitive players. We depend on DLC. So we usually last like, like around three months and then if the DLC is not good, we move on. If the DLC is good, we stay in. So that's the competitive gamers the casual gamers they are mostly to last you know most likely to last like around six months or even more because all they care about is the fun factor you know they don't care about the weapons they don't care about the maps they don't care about map spots all they care is about their crew their clan just making fun jokes you know trolling people and they don't care they just want to have fun these are the people that usually last until the next year so they're probably going to keep the game and they're going to have so much fun in it. And, you know, since the game does provide you with a lot of tanks, a lot of vehicle options, planes, and, you know, some good old, like, freaking random ass soldiers in the, in the battlefield. Because you can pick up, like, the flamethrower guy and the heavy machine guy. Like, there was a lot of things to do. So for sure, these kinds of people are going to have tons of fun and are going to probably last, like, the whole damn year or until the whole, you know, until, until there's, like, another big ass FPS coming up, which is not even likely close. So... The next type of gamer I really want to talk about is the ignorant gamer. Now, this ignorant gamer are the ones that are Call of Duty fanboys, Titanfall fanboys, Overwatch fanboys that came over to Battlefield 1. And these people are the ones comparing Battlefield 1 to their games. And they're going to be saying like, oh, this weapon is better on this other game, blah, blah. This movement system sucks. It's better on Overwatch. You know, Overwatch has specialties. Battlefield 1 is old school. The weapons suck. They're boring. And that's going to be their excuses all the time. They're going to make the game seem boring as much as possible to convince themselves to go back to where they came from. To Call of Duty, to Titanfall, to Overwatch. And they'll stay there. You know, they'll sell, they'll sell the game like within one month. These are the ignorant gamers. So that's my answer, guys. If you're an ignorant gamer, you're just going to last here a month. 
So don't even bother, you know, buying in December because you're just going to quit after a month. And the casual gamers are the ones that are going to be lasting till next year. And then the competitive gamers are going to last three months and then depend on DLC. If the DLC is good, they'll last even longer. So that's my answer towards this whole situation. So that is it, guys, I want to talk about today. Hopefully you guys like the topic. You guys got any questions, leave them in the comment section. I'll read them later.